What's up guys, Ryan with PewDiePie here and today we are taking a look at five EDC gift ideas. These are five plus one of my top recommendations that I have come up with after spending the better part of a year uh, running a firearm website, looking at products, having products sent to me, testing all kinds of things. And also, um, I will say that our target user is someone who is looking for value. This is the, the dad that wants to be prepared. This is the person who is looking for value and functionality over having the Gucciest of gear on the planet. So these are not expensive gifts. The most expensive on this table is the Trayvax Ascent wallet, which comes in around $70, but several of them are well under 50 bucks. So let's get started. First off, we are gonna go right to left and you do you. So starting off, we have the Gerber Suspension NXT Multi-Tool. I have several of these. I have them in my car. I keep them in my fanny pack as well. Um, and also in my bug out bag. And I also have one in my hunting pack as well. So it's a very versatile tool. Uh, it has all the kind of bells and whistles as you would expect in a multi-tool, but Gerber built good quality and built to last. So 15 tools in here, very sharp knife, very uh, robust scissors in here as well. If you need them, shears. And yeah, also has a pocket clip if you need to just throw it in your pants and, and take off. But um, I would start there. This guy runs typically between 30 and 35 bucks. Great, very useful tool. Second is the Kershaw Kuro Tonto Blade. So this guy at first, I was a little put off by the texture on the grip, but having carried this guy now for multiple months, I have really started to fall in love with it. It is a spring assisted open Tonto blade. And as you can see, I use my knife, so it starts to show a little bit of wear, but it stays sharp and it has not let me down so far. Uh, what I will also say is something that I like is if you see these little holes here on the side, you can remove this pocket clip depending on how you want to carry it and move it around to fit your needs. Also, this grip texture looks a little weird on camera, but when you actually get a hold of the knife, it's very easy to get a good grip on it. And to be honest, I really like it. And this guy runs uh, typically around $25 to $30. So once again, still very budget friendly. Next up, we have the Archer. Uh, this is the Pro V2 from Thrunite. And I have multiple of these lights in different sizes. This is 950 lumens if you go on turbo mode, extremely bright, however, so it will automatically get brighter and darker. And when you let go of it, it will remember those settings. So you can set this guy up to function as a headlamp and like that, turn it way down and the battery will last a long time. And the clip here allows you to hook it on your pocket or hook it on your hat. And I have actually used this, so peeking under the hood in my truck, um, and also outside uh, building a fire as well. I use this guy, so really nice as well. And to recharge it, you just unscrew the cap and you have a USB-C right here. There's also a smaller version, uh, which I have over here as well. Just let me throw this in real quick. This is the Archer Mini um, as well. So there are multiple versions of this guy. I bought them with my own money. I like them, I carry them. Uh, next up, we have the Trayvax Ascent wallet. So this guy forces you to be a little bit minimalistic in your carry. So if you're that kind of guy that has this huge wallet in your pocket, uh, this will force you to downsize, but it is very slim line. It's a lot better on your back. Trust me, it's a good investment. So uh, it is USA made, it is real leather. It smells fantastic as well. It will be tight when you first get it, but trust me, after you get it, you start to wear it in. Uh, it really starts to conform to whatever you have in it. And to be honest, I wish I would have got this a lot sooner. So the Trayvax Ascent wallet, great for the guy who has a giant wallet in his pocket. And lastly, the Vertex Everyday Carry Fanny Pack. So I go through different uh, packs. I, I test a lot of these um, from Vertex, from Everly Stock, uh, Helicon Text. There's been several 511, uh, several of these that I have tried and I go between the Vertex and the Everly Stock Bando Bag a lot, um, but I have to say for just minimalist EDC, I think that the Everyday Carry from Vertex uh, is probably my go-to. Uh, depends on though what kind of pistol you're gonna carry. So if you're gonna carry something larger like a Glock 19, then I would go with the Everly Stock Bando XL. But if you're carrying something like this Myth & Wesson Shield I have here, uh, this guy fits it very well. Lastly, and before we get there actually, 
uh, I want to point out that if you go to pewdeals.com slash giveaway and sign up for our newsletter, we are giving away a Mepro Light MPODF Pistol Optic. That is the October giveaway. So if it's uh, still October and you see this video, go check that out. Lastly, what I want to mention as well, they don't have these for uh, all that many different types of, of guns, so I didn't want to include it. Um, but if you happen to have one of these, so for an example, in this case, the Smith & Wesson Shield, the Bravo concealment holsters, I love this thing. So I, I'm a big fan of conceal carry, but I don't like inside the waistband holsters. Um, and I don't like it because it requires you to always adjust your belt. So if you are wearing a belt and you have your pistol in a holster, you know, then you typically have to adjust it. And then if you take your pistol out, you have to adjust your belt back. The cool thing about this guy is it is an external holster. So it goes outside the waistband, but it's so minimal that when you snap your pistol in and put this on your body, it really holds tight. It doesn't print. The pistol is not coming out and I'm a huge fan. So links to all these products are gonna be down below and that's what I got for you. Have a great day, talk soon.